My name is Patrick Bliss. I'll be playing Carl Hanratty in uh, New Bern Civic Theater's Catch Me If You Can. My name is Abby Clark, and I play Brenda Strong in the musical Catch Me If You Can. My name is Vaughn Lewis, and I'm playing Frank Abagnale Jr. in Catch Me If You Can, the musical. It's been a lot of fun. I'm, you know, I'm not used to being on this side of things. Uh, in most shows in the past, I've been uh, the quote unquote good guy. Um, and so I like kind of playing the person that's doing the pushing back. It's time to face the facts. So I'll take that ride to the boy inside the club. <laughs> there cool. it is. Yeah. <laughs> and that one is kind of like low and slow. And I like being a detective if I could carry a gun. You know, can't, can't argue with that. This show differs from any other show that I've done because it is probably the most lines I've ever had to learn in my life, more than Huck Finn and Big River. I'm on stage almost all the time. I have quick costume changes. I'm singing a lot, singing high stuff, probably the highest I've sung in my life too, in public. So sit back and let me be. People have to come see Catch Me If You Can because it is so full of energy and fun and Vaughn is mind-blowing in this part. It is just amazing. I love seeing him on stage like this. This is my first time seeing him in a book musical. We've performed together for years since we met, but I've never seen him in a show like this and it is so much fun. You don't want to miss it. It doesn't have anything to do with the fact that we're married. I'm sure I'm not biased in the slightest. <laughs> This is a very special performance because I get to share the stage with my wife in a character role. In our normal duo act, Lewis and Clark, we're just kind of ourselves singing our favorite songs and singing to each other. But this time, I get to make her fall in love with me again every night. So I think that'll be a tough job. Thank you, House. Guys, it's 7.15, we're over here. Brandon's on the way. Get that out of my face. Okay, paparazzi, let's stop. Stop. Okay. No, I'm, I'm honored. Kevin, fact that you... what's it like in the fly loft? Dark, cold, and boring. All right, what is, it, what is the art of being fly loft? Tell me about what it takes. Hey. Energy drinks. <laughs> And what show will get you from backstage to on stage? Yeah. Uh, what's that show that we were talking about? No. No, it's the other one. It's the other one. Um, Rent. No, no, no. Uh, Wait, we're doing a musical? I thought we were doing Grease. I thought me and you were going to be Grease. Yeah. That's the only one that would get me on stage. Okay. Right, I got to love the jacket. Okay, we're doing Grease. Yeah. All right, we're doing Grease. That's it. Last second decision. Tonight? Yes, tonight. We're switching to Greece. We're switching to Greece tonight. Let's do it live. Do it live. Just do it live. Uh, you you got to be uh, Olivia Newton John, though. That's <laughs> fine. Oh, jeez. All right. The differences between chiropractic and musical theater. Go. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much the same. Uh huh. I sing the entire day. Um, he adjusts people's attitudes. I adjustment. Attitude readjustment. <laughs> Lee, what's your least favorite part of Catch Me If You Can? Uh, the Pan Am executive. He's horrible. <laughs> he needs what would you say is his worst quality? He's, he's really bad. Just bad? Just not no talent, no ambition, no nothing? Uh, well, he's got a number of things. No okay. ambition, no talent. He can't sing or dance. He's a, sure. tri he's a triple threat. Are we talking exactly. about Chad Stadium? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you talking about Chad? Vaughn, why did you come back to Mewburn Civic Theater after, what, five years? Five years now. Why, why this? Um, well, someone held a gun. Hold up. No, let's not film from here because we're seeing the chipping paint on the roof. Hold up. There we go. That works. No, no, no. The double chin is fine. Down here. So. Oh, wow. This is like what it looks like when I look at you. Oh, <laughs> 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 Abby. Hi. 
Hi, what's your least favorite part of working with your husband? Working with her husband? <laughs> My least favorite part. He messes up a line and totally throws me off. Hasn't happened much. It happened last week. Uh huh. Would you say That's some. Least favorite. Favorite. <laughs> What's that? Yes, you do. You have to. My least favorite part. That he's so much better at acting than me. No, 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 no. We're not doing reverse compliments like that. That's not what this is for. No, and I don't know. I can't think of anything. Patrick, what's Vaughn's worst quality? Vaughn's worst quality. Ah, oh, that's, uh, that's, that's a tough question. Um, I, I'd really have a hard time finding one, because... No, no, we're not doing this reverse compliment uh, stuff. You gotta hear me out. There okay. Are so many options. <laughs> what's the question? Vaughn's worst quality. Oh my god, so many. <laughs> Do you need, yeah, but you need a moment? All right, all right, how about this, Patrick? Um, a role that you would happily go and drag to do. Woman a role, role. that I yeah. would go and drag to do. A, woman, a role that would normally be for a woman, but you would happily get and drag to do it because you love that role. I would really have to think about that for a second. Um, mm, maybe Fontaine? No, that's not a good one. No. You're gonna have to come back to me. I'll have to come back to you on that. Okay, it's opening night. How do you feel, sir? It's good. Uh, I, I always like the energy of opening night. I, uh, people misread it, I think, because I get real quiet, to be honest, uh, especially about 15 minutes out of the show. I don't really talk to anybody, but uh, it's, a good, it's a good energy. Hi, Patrick. How you doing today? I'm good. I, I had a feeling you were gonna do that. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't say that. That's okay. Well, it won't make it on the internet. <laughs> It'll make it on the DVD, though. I'm sure. All right, Vaughn. Opening night. How do you feel? I played the fifth. No comment. My lawyers won't allow me to. I can't be on camera because I signed a union contract a few years ago, and I'm, I'm sad. Yeah, but did they, didn't they make you sign a media contract for the show? That includes this. Nope, I don't have a contract for the show. Are you serious? Seriously. Mike, what's your least favorite part about having to do sound for Vaughn? Um. Well, actually, it's very good, actually, because I get to hear Abby sing. So oh, okay. That, that's, that's a plus. That's a plus, yeah. Fawn's, eh, well, eh, well, you know. Mm. Yeah, so I'll just leave it there. Mm. <laughs>
producer. I am. It's opening night. It is. How do you feel? I'm super pumped. I'm really excited. There's a ton of people here, and even my little girls here. Say hi, Sessie. Okay, maybe not. And Mr. Bunny. And I'm really bad at this, so I hope you can make cuts. Well, hopefully you're good at producing. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Um, I bet you we will. We saw the show last night at Final Dress, and it was awesome. We had a really great crowd, and they were super excited, and I've seen lots and lots of good things on all of the social media and all of that. So come see the show. It's going to be fun. What's your least favorite part of the process? My least favorite part of producing? Yeah. Uh, there's no, not. I'm having to be away from my family. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's the part. Um, everything else has been really fun. Derek is amazing to work with. And um, the cast is amazing. I think I say amazing too much. It's, really... it's true. Yeah. So, yeah. What's it like choreographing? Cool. Come on, that very Super first. fun. I love choreographing yeah. for the shows. Do I look here or do I look here? I look wherever. No, dancing is my favorite thing to do, so I love watching it all come together on stage. What's your least favorite part about it? I mean, I really don't have one. I love, no? I love doing this. Yeah, it's probably my favorite thing to do. Okay, what was your favorite part about this show? Probably the whole Doctor's Order scene. It's super sassy, really fun to choreograph with the girls. <laughs> Where do the ideas come from, dance moves? Um, my head, I don't know. <laughs> I normally dream it up and then I'm ready for the next day. I need to thank Derek personally for. I should thank you or curse you because I can't, I can't do this again. Um, Shawnee, thank you for turning me into a girl. I, I did not for one second I would enjoy doing the girly little hee hee hee. I love it. Thank you. Um, and, and, and for all the effort that everyone has done, um, I just thank you so much. I know it's Helter Skelter, but tonight is opening night. We have a packed house in there. So above everything that you've learned, everything that you've been told, everything that you're supposed to do, the most important part is having fun. Because if we're having fun, the audience is going to feed off of that. Yeah? Does anybody have any questions for me? I just want to thank you all so much. I don't know, most of you know, but I moved back a year ago and was really kind of lost in what I was doing what I wanted to do, um, and I called Angelina and I was like, hey, I need a show to do that like, company. <laughs> so I came in, interviewed, Cash Me If You Can was not the show I wanted to direct at all, but it has become one of my favorite memories I have, and that's due to all of you. Um, I've made some great friendship. I have made great friends. I've reconnected with one of my best friends from childhood that I never knew I'd miss so much. Um, you all also need to know that Shawnee's going to be leaving us at the end of the run and is moving to Virginia. <laughs> so this is kind of her swan song too, but I um, really hope you know how much we appreciate you, Shawnee. Yes. Yeah. Um, Jen, behind the scenes, did more work than you realize goes into a show as far as receipts, headshots. Jen, I need you to get this one. Okay, so thank you so much, Jen, because it's a lot like backstage where you don't get the credit you deserve. Lauren has done everything from props to stage management to everything, and she's been amazing. And this could happen without you. I am in all of your talent, and I like that I know that I can leave a music rehearsal and things are going to happen. So. <laughs> And then Abby, <laughs> Abby, kind of the same for you as assistant director. It's nice that I can run to Wilmington and drop off costumes for one show while you're running this rehearsal. And just your professionalism in general has been so appreciated. Absolutely. Um, and to you, my beautiful cast and my new friends, go out there and give them help. You work too hard, okay? and striking stuff, there were a few times I had to wave people over, or a few times where the right people did not do the thing, so there's a list back there, please pay attention to it. Um, 
The one change is that at the end of that little motel scene where we have the front desk on, the agents as they come off are going to strike it instead of having people come on because it's just easier that way. Um, other than that, you guys are awesome. I, you know, I'm a stage crew person, so I cannot imagine doing stage crew and then actually being in the show. So yeah, you guys are awesome. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, and and also, oh, also sorry. please, um, I'm trying to let it slide. Please don't stand over at my little like, podium or let turn his blank as when his correct me. Um, please don't stand over here and look at my script or anything because tonight I'm also calling flight news. So I need to be able to get there. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Hello. Yes, they are. On the DVD somewhere. Are you excited to Are you excited to see Catch Me If You Can? I am so excited. I can hardly stand it. Have you heard about Vaughn Lewis? Vaughn Lewis. The name is familiar. Let me see. Let me see how many of his cards I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Very good. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi. Are you excited for opening night? I'm so excited for opening night. I can't wait to see this play with my eyes open. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Opening night. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. I know. Showstopper. All right, KK. Are you excited to see Catch Me If You Can? Yes. What's the most, what are you most excited about? Seeing Angelina. Yay! Three now? Mm -hmm. Three? He's nervous. That's the look of three.